I'm going to be teaching you how to make a bassoon reed. Today you're going to be needing exactly a piece of tin, gouged in profile, an exacto knife, a mandrel, yarn, multiple knives, sandpaper, cotton, pliers, 12 gauge copper wire. Now, to begin, you're going to begin by etching in a few lines straight down the middle and on the edges of the cane. You don't want to touch the blade, not at all yet. Just right now, just the bark. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you how it looks like afterwards. See now, there are lines inside the cane. You exactly just draw right through it, right? You don't want to get too thick into it. Just enough to where it focuses. No, it's not going to focus. But you don't want to go too deep into the cane. Or else in that case, it's just cut straight through and it's not playable. You want to do this to both sides. Try to make it as even as possible. That makes it look like a double bit. Right and now it's beginning to look like a bassoon reed. Right now you can see that it's not quite even. So again, you can just take your exacto knife and just trim that little part off. I'm going to do that first. This can is a bit being a bit stubborn. If you want, it's not necessarily required, but if you're having a tough time cutting through a little wood block, it would always be nice just to put it on, have something to cut into. There it goes. And now, as you can see, it is more or less even. At this point, you're going to want the cotton. And the forming mandrel, like I said. First, you're going to pull about a wingspan of cotton. cotton spray. anything to cut it, I use the exact one I so. so now, you just want to soak the little tip, which bit works fine, and you're simply going to wrap the bottom of the can. Just a few loops to make sure the bottom doesn't slip off like so. Work your way up the reed. Not too tightly, 
but tight enough where it's not going to slip off, of course. Usually you want to work from bottom to top. I would suggest it. There's one more step that we got to do to the top of the bark after we wrap it. Once you get all the way, mainly to the top, you can just start looping around, make sure everything's secure. You have a tad bit left over. I have long arms. About this much left. Just soak it in your mouth. It should stick relatively well. Now this is when the forming mandrel and the 12 gauge copper wire is going to come in play. Once you have the reed, right, you're going to want to grab the mandrel. It's a bit long. Just kind of want to poke it through just a little bit, right? Make sure the blades stayed about even. You don't want them to like go off kilter. So if they're on top of each other, you don't want it to slide. And just very slowly push it through. No need to fear. The cane naturally cracks. So if it sounds like it's breaking, it's a good thing. Because at this point, the cane is still very flat. And the vocal for the scene is very round. And last time I checked, you can't really fit a rectangle into a circle. Because a circle doesn't have corners. And so once you get it, about so. a bit of a rhombus. You're going to grab your 12 gauge copper wire and your pliers. And right around the top of the reed, the bark I mean. You're going to wrap the wire along. Right? So I made one loop here. Just push it through. Make the loop again. And once you get about this, right? Two loops around. Put the top wire over top. Bottom wire, right? Cross them over and it's twist, right? You want to give it about two or three twists. You grab your pliers. And you simply twist again and again. You want the wires to be really tight. So how what I do, I grab it, pull first, and then you twist. You can get a lot of it down. You don't want there to be any gap between the wire and the cane. If there is, then there is room for the cane to move. And once I tell you the next step, you don't really want it moving. For a while. So you just keep twisting. until there is no gap left between the wire and the cane. At this point, you can, it's not really necessary, but you can cut off most of the wire. Give it one or two more pulls for good measure. And for the next step, you let it sit for about a week. 